Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes three and four of March Comes In Like a Lion. But okay, before we get started with this, all right, so we got a little situation between last week going on to this week. Um, we're gonna treat this series kind of like the Monogatari series, and how not only with spoilers, but especially, and I'm not saying this to be angry, but it got a little irritating seeing this this last week, um, to the point where I was like, yeah, I kind of need to say something about this. If somebody says something, I'm fine with someone saying anything, like if I've missed something, that's okay. There's a lot that's going to happen in the episode, just like Monogatari, and I did miss some things, and people were able to explain those things in the comments, what I missed, what it meant, yada yada, this is that, and the third. But if it's something that someone has already said, if you want to add on to it, that's okay. It kind of makes no reason for someone to write almost maybe the exact, not word for word, situation that someone's already put on. And so I'm like, that made no fucking sense to me. No offense. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you, if it's something just, mm, and it's not the same words as somebody else, just go ahead and add on to it. But if you need it and like, if it's, if you have to explain it into a better detail that I understand, I, I get that. But like, there, there's points where people were repeating and I was like, you're basically saying the same words someone else is saying. I was like, that that doesn't make anything, like, no fucking sense to me. And like I said, I'm not saying it to be mean. I'm just saying it to say it because I was like, okay. But yeah, so now that I know, I even knew even when I went back and I rewatched the episodes that the context of the murder wasn't really we were, we we're going to get the answer and everything. And then I really just felt more um, about Ray. Um... And then a couple other things. So, yeah, we're going to go into these next two episodes because I still got some other ish to do today. Because today has been a very drama, stress I mean, stressful day. And I really want this day to be over. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode three. And three, two, one, go. Like, if you, oh my god, if you only knew how stressful, like, literally today is, I mean, huh, people pissed me off, like, early this morning, and, mm, it's 325, a couple nights ago, yeah, my mom pissed me off, and, and then I'm like, I, you know how sometimes you just don't want to deal with people today, or any day, because sometimes people just get under your nerves, that's how I feel today, I just don't really feel like dealing with bullshit from people, I mean, there are people who are super duper nice, and then there are ones who are just like, oh my god, I just can't sometimes, that's how it feels. Check something real quick before I continue. Okay, stop looking at that. Is it me? I mean, okay, we're th we're now three episodes in, and as much as I love our main character. I kind of want to see, like, a a an episode on maybe maybe Momo if they want to. Because Momo, precious baby girl, and we love her. But maybe the, the middle child, possibly. I would like to see an episode on everybody for this show. I mean, but because he is a main character, he's going to get the most. I get that. I ain't, wrong. I ain't mad about that, but... Come here. <laughs> come here. Oh, you can't come here since my chair broke. Come here. Oh, you poor baby. Okay, cut. No, come here. No, oh my god. Hold on, guys. No. I got you. Alright, go over there. I got you. You're fine. <sighs> can lay on the bed.
the hell? Okay. Just, I mean, I can imagine. I mean, here and mm, I am hell. It's fucking hot here. Oh, I mean that water ain't enough. Of course. But he kept going. Of course. And he had to admit defeat. Still drowning, huh?
I mean, you were just probably sitting here the whole entire time. <laughs> you know you're still gonna lose, though, right? I mean... <laughs> Of course, they're just gonna wait until the right moment. But it's going to make himself overheat again. God, he is just sweating so fucking much, like, huh? Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So just accept it then. But you have. You may not think you have, but you have. <laughs> Does 
like she wanted to be here for you. I'm away. Mm -hmm. so sweet to him. Oh my god. Stop it. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> I'm not crying today. <laughs> Jesus. Of course. Because you gotta see him. Like your angels. Mama? Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> She's so fucking sweet. He's so fucking cute. If they're not gonna be a couple by the end of this damn show, I'm suing. <laughs> But that girl who looked back at you that I really want to punch in the face or just, you know, mm.
But you can't go by yourself, though, Hina. Please. <laughs> fucking feels. I can't. I love them so much. It's only episode three, damn it. Of course she's not gonna fucking go to the convenience store. I mean... Exactly, because she lied! She just wants to be alone and in her feelings. Maybe shout out to the world or how she truly feels. Maybe she just wants to be alone and cry. She's not going to jump, is she? Because she wanted to be strong. I know that feeling. Yeah, um, if he and I and Ray don't end up together by this, like, ooh. Oh. You just let it all out. Alright, quick question about Haru real quick about um what's his face talking about his kidneys. Is he diagnosed with something? I mean, cause he's he, the fact that they're going to the hospital, something about your I mean, does he have it's something and it's gotta be something to do with kidneys. As much as into the medical things that I am into, I ain't that into medical like my lovely mother. Um I do know some stuff, but I can't really think about something that also goes with kidneys. I just, I know it, but I just don't remember it. Two, okay. With Ray saying, was it a good thing for him to block out or shut out his parents after, because he's so obsessed at that time growing up with Shogi? I mean, that's a question that... I think we've all kind of answered, I mean, not even answered, asked ourselves, especially like when we're, hmm, how should I word this? Like, 
we're so into certain things and sometimes you just want to be alone and such. I don't think that's really truly the case, but because of the fact is, I think dealing with his parents' death and everything, there's a lot of trauma still in him and dealing with him blocking out his parents and everything. He's become the way he currently is now. I mean, I still need a little more context because I, I don't feel like I understand him. It's, a, it's three episodes and you're telling me like you can understand this kid as of right now. I mean, he... Mm. He makes me feel a type of way sometimes. Not in a bad way, in a really good way. I, I love him. He's probably now like... Oh God, three episodes and he, he might have to be like my, like in my favorite boy characters for anime and such and why he just seems so, there's moments where I feel like he, he's in touch with his feelings when he is looking at any of the three sisters, their sister's um, grandfather or really anyone else. But when it comes to himself, he's more a little out of touch with his feelings. Like he understands them, but he's still trying to not only really find himself because there are still times even with the flashbacks of him you know going against Haru in the past um when they were kids and how he looked at the world still in gray even at like a really young age until he met the rest of these you know what I like to call his angels and such um dude just what the fuck and then can, can we fucking talk about that they would have kids play shogi like outside in a hot sun even though yes they're covered up by something but still you are literally asking for a child to get sick or like oh my god not hypothermia that's cold um heat exhaustion I, I can't even imagine how hot it must have been that day I mean here today it's like I think what 75 degrees here in um my home state that I don't really want to talk about because I've gotten a lot of hate for the last couple of hours. Not even last hours, 12 hours, maybe. Yeah, 75 today. Um, but, I, like, when it is hot, it is hot. Especially if it's, like, 90s to 100 and you... Th this has never happened to me. It's it's gotten close, and it was when I was a little kid where I got almost heat exhaustion, exhaustion because I was so hot. I didn't have water and it almost happened to me when one day I was mowing the lawn and don't do that. Be smart and drink water and such. But like still, I need something. I need that answer on Haru. That's the biggest thing I want to know right now because he seems like, was he born with it and such? I mean, just, just giving me that little teeny tiny thing right there. It just... You're fucking with me. I love it. But then I'm also like, no, I need to know the context like right now about him. But yeah, I still love Ray. I'm glad he was there for Hina. I'm also glad that like Hina yeah, is a very strong character. I mean, for Christ's sake, it's freaking Kana who plays her. And so I love the fact that she plays like characters or who look really, really strong and then when you kind of break them down and chip them down bit by bit, you see that like they put that wall up to be strong for someone else. But when they're by themselves, that's when they're the most vulnerable and everything. I mean, I wanted to fucking cry with Hina as much because like losing someone who is that important to you, whether it is a family member, um, an animal or whatever. Yeah, you're still going to be upset about that despite years down the line like my grandmother passed away in two years makes two years I mean no in two years makes 10 years so there's not a day that I don't like sit and cry and my mom still will sit and cry about it um same thing with my dogs my dogs kind of passed away like two years after my grandma so and I still blame that on myself. I still think it's my fault. Even though when so many, so many times my mom has told me it's not. But to me, I think it's my fault. And I probably will think about that for the rest of my days. I really truly don't know. That's something that I have to like talk with myself about. But like I was not expecting Haru to like him and Haru and Haru to like have another shogi match like years later I was thinking okay these two are probably never really gonna have a match again and then next you know boom like here you go there there it is and just like oh, okay like damn but yeah 
But despite even the way how Haru was feeling, he didn't give up. Even in both situations, because there were parts like during their second match, you could see it was no matter the outcome, Ray was gonna end up like winning it. You could see it on like both of their faces, and I'm like, okay, it, it, it's gonna be him. As much as I want to see Haru like kind of redeem himself from when he was this little kid, I was like, yeah, that's it, it's not gonna go that way. I was like, maybe one day mm. in, in one of these later episodes, but still, we're we're no way. We're, <laughs> no fucking way near that. But I still got a lot of questions about Ray's parents. Um, that little girl who was looking at him funny last week, who I would still want to punch in the motherfucking face, because that little bitch, I mean, oof. <laughs> and yeah, just hopefully, I know it's going to take some time, but you know how when you want something now and you hate the fact that you have to wait like every other week or every week to get your answer. That's me right now. I just really, really, really want to know. But we ain't going to know until later on. But which... Oh, God, pisses me off. It, it's monogatari all over again. Where I had so many fucking questions. Wondering early on. And everybody's like, oh, you're not going to get that answered until like <laughs> this one. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, no, that's too damn long for me. I don't want to wait anymore. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay, episode four in three, two, one, go. So, alright, yeah, okay. Hmm. Chestnut. But brown, I mean, yeah, brown's not a. No, those are onions. Are onions? No. Yeah, chestnuts. So does she kind of have, because I'm guessing it seems, she has a crash on him, doesn't she? <laughs> My baby. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, but then what else is it? <laughs> Yeah, you should make something that you know how to make. Mm-hmm. Mm. Something simple. <laughs> but it's simple. <laughs> You have no money. Mm, that's worse than watch the face of Ninja Joe. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> How much do you need? They're important. <laughs> this is probably going to be a kid that we're never going to see again. <laughs> oh, mama. <laughs> Damn, y'all really wouldn't. It oh, my God. Well, she probably like spent what thirty bucks? Cause yeah, I, I mean, woo, if it was a hundred dollars, oh my god. I mean, cause you go to Walmart, you'd be like, damn, my like, god, spent how much? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, your older sister just likes to bring home strays, and, but it's cute. Hmm? Still no curtains. This is why you plan it out the night before. No, it's perfect. No. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. It's pretty. Yeah, that too. And there she is. <laughs> Look how happy she is. Oh my god. Jump, oh my god. He's, he's so tall! <laughs> oh god. You know, one of the things that I hate about being tall. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's so cute. Yes! Don't crush his glasses. Mm. That either was his sister. The girl with the, the, the bitch. That bitch. Or maybe. Because that, that wouldn't be his mom. Because I, I don't think a mom would do that. But um. Damn. Yeah, but because of the fact. <sighs> it's okay. Proud about that. Oh, Hina. Oh. Mm -hmm. It happens to all of us. Besides, you were too good for him as well. That's okay. Whoever you're going to be with by the end of this series, they're going to make you so happy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I mean, how much did you give them? <laughs> Oh. 
You know, okay. It's a thought that counts, right? Uh huh. She's so fucking cute. Oh my god. Like, wish the best for baby Hina. Like, oh my god. So, how are you feeling? I mean, that's the biggest thing I want to know. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm fucking tearing up over this dude. Thought he was going to close the door. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. I can't imagine how many calories it would be. I mean, uh. Mama. Almost falling from my god. Uh-huh. I'm guessing it's like uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> This child gonna make me die.
<laughs> yeah, it, it's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, I don't think it's that. I just think, you know... Maybe his health issues, possibly? That's why I want to know! <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like Haru's gonna go through this like, dramatic transformation of losing weight by the end of the series. Speaking of the devil. That was a cute freaking episode. Oh my god. Like, oh, oh my heart. But yeah, I got some questions on, you know, um, what was going on between Ray and this woman? Baby steps and did something that we don't know because of the fact is that he still, even that moment, was in black and white and you can't see because of her hair color. And I'm just like, let me see! <laughs> Because I just want to be right about the hair color. And if, if it's that bitch, I swear to God. Like, oh, God. I'm going to take a guess on this. Was he raped? Was he molested by one of his family members? Oh, God. No, I don't like thinking like that. But I, I don't know. I mean, you, you take his glasses off like that. Y'all, it's a little too close for my... Mm, nope. Mm-mm. No, thank you. I, I mean, oh, God. What the fuck was this episode? It was so good, though. I mean, oh. Ah. I saw it in Ovaharu. 
And with the fact is that he has to eat nothing but Blair, even though he wanted like the freaking steak and probably the fried chicken. It's like, it's like no, can I have this bland and everything? Like, oh, baby, I want to know what's wrong with him. Like, oh, God, you just saying that ish in the previous episode. I mean, it gives me a little context, but like I said, my medical terms and such, I don't remember much. I know stuff. But I, it's something with them kidneys, and I would love to know what it is. And the only thing that I can honestly really think of is diabetes. So does he have diabetes? He could possibly have high blood pressure, and we don't even know it. I mean, yes, you can, you can have high blood pressure even whether you are slim or even if you're fucking fat, no matter what. I, I hate the fact that I'm getting into, like, freaking weight loss because that just, like, as a woman who struggles to lose weight... I don't like talking about it because it's just, it pisses me off and then I get upset and the next, you know, you're going on a binge diet or whatever and stuff and I hate those. But, I mean, that's one thing that I would like to see about him. Like, I, I need to know that. Like, give me the, just that little teeny tiny thing. Like, it gives me, like, you're spoon feeding me and I, I'm okay with that. But then at the same time, I'm like, no, I, I just want to know, huh? This is a good episode. Fucking Momo. Did you see this child, like, going all about him? I mean, that's worse than freaking Toru and, like, Momiji going to go see that Pikachu movie or whatever. Like, the thing that looks like Pikachu. <laughs> but it's so cute. And you're just like, oh my god. Like, you just love these two children so fucking much. Like, babies. I can't. Oh my god, still, I'm still heartbroken about, about Hina, especially with this, like, you go to episode three, and she's crying about her mom, and then you come into episode four, and she wants to give the guy that she has a crush on the lunch that she made for him, and she didn't even get a chance, because all these bitches are like, no, let's go here! <laughs> like, fuck you, he's a bitch. Like, oh my god, I just... Mm. You want to just hug her and be like, it's okay. I'm glad that she was able to, you know, eat the food that she made. <laughs> and Akati. Like, Akati's like, how did you make this? <laughs> did you taste this? I mean, even she. I love the fact that she even talked about, like, doing the same thing when she was younger. I mean, I think we've all had that. Like, I can't speak for guys, but, like, I can speak for girls. We've all wanted to make, like, something, whether it is something, you know, sweet, um, savory, whatever, for a guy or a girl that we all have a crush on and stuff, but they always taste your food at the end of the day. I mean, poor baby, she woke up at 6 a.m. and she was all ready, but because, I, I still can't believe this girl bought, like, how much? And, and gosh, for like, shit, I, I mean, oh, God. But she woke up so early, and I was like, oh, my God, she might actually do this, but... She just didn't have that time to taste. <laughs> like, oh my god. But that's what happens when you're just a girl in love. I mean, mm, always taste your food, people. Guys, girls, whatever. Taste your damn food before you give to somebody. <laughs> because you don't want to be, like, not embarrassed. You can be proud of the food that you make, even if you haven't tasted it in this bland or whatever. And they look at you like, what the hell did this woman just wake or this man just made for me? Just, they'll make it up. It's okay. I mean, this is a really good episode. Both episodes were good as hell, but I feel like with the good moments, you're still getting some, oh God, bad moments. And I feel like me, it, with these, with it, we're going to get even worse moments in this for Ray. And honestly, even though like, it, it's something that I'm really anticipating because I feel like this kid is going to have a breakdown. I don't know when it, it it's going to happen, but I feel like, because my stomach is doing some weird turns and I hate that when I look at a character or just anything and that feelings that I get, it, it's going to happen. And it's just, I don't know. Do I think he might come out of it? Yeah, because he has, you know, Momo, Akari, and Hina. And then anyone else who's close to him and he's able to talk to him. But he's still, to me, he, he's slowly but surely there. And I just, I need him to just be able to talk about his feelings but because he is one of those types of people like me who is very you know to himself and not always able to convey their feelings to someone else you know he just needs time and I'm okay with that there are some people who are not okay with that but 
sometimes you just have to be in the end. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes three and four of March Comes In Like a Lion. If you guys enjoyed it, <clears throat> please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for everybody else and next Friday for Patreons for episodes five and six. Bye, guys.